The British Association of Urological Surgeons, the BAVs, had invited all the United Kingdom urologists to submit their data with regard to the nephrectomies in 2012. This is now an annual mandatory practice for all cancers. In 2012, between January and 31st of December of 2012, more than 6,000 cases were submitted to this database. We were asked to analyze the results of T1A and T1B, that is the T1 cancers, and my colleague and the first author of this paper, Marios Hajipaolo, is going to take you through more about this interesting audit. Thank you. There has been an increasing instance of small renal masses over the last 20 years, with over 50% of those incidentally discovered on imaging. The European Association of Urology recommends nephron-sparing nephron surgery for best management of small localized renal cancers. In the BAUS National Nephrectomy Audit, 6,042 nephrectomies were reported by 119 institutions. By comparing to the HES data, it is estimated that approximately 80% of nephrectomies were reported. We performed an analysis of patient demographics, operative technique, perioperative outcomes on all patients undergoing partial and radical nephrectomy for T1 renal tumors. Of 1,768 nephrectomies performed, 1,082 were radical nephrectomies while 686 were partial nephrectomies. The procedure of choice for T1A tumors was partial nephrectomy while radical nephrectomy was preferred for 81% of T1B tumors. Of all radical nephrectomies, 90.3% were performed using a minimally invasive technique. The open technique was favored for partial nephrectomies and this was more so the case for T1B tumors. There were significant differences in all parameters between patients undergoing radical and partial nephrectomy. Patients undergoing partial nephrectomy were younger with a lower performance status score, higher preoperative hemoglobin concentration and better renal function. There were no statistically significant differences in operation time and overall intraoperative complication rate between the partial and radical nephrectomy groups. Partial nephrectomy was associated with double the blood loss. However, there was no significant difference in transfusion rate. Intraoperative complications are shown in this figure. Bowel injuries were reported in only two cases, while only one emergency splenectomy had to be performed for an open nephrectomy. Pneumothorax was not uncommon when the open technique was employed. Conversion to open rates were 5.9% and 3.6% for partial and radical nephrectomies respectively. The main reasons for were difficult dissection or hemorrhage. Reduction in EGFR was over three times higher in the radical nephrectomy group. Surgical margins were positive in two radical nephrectomy cases and in 39 partial nephrectomy cases with a rate of 6.8% in the latter cases. Surgical approach was not a, a risk factor for presence of positive margins in partial nephrectomy. Partial nephrectomy was associated with a higher overall postoperative complication rate. The most common complication for both partial and radical nephrectomies were bleeding and chest infection. Partial nephrectomy was associated with a one day longer hospital stay. Looking at the severe uh, surgical complications, after adjusting for surgical technique on a logistic regression model, radical nephrectomy was associated with a markedly reduced risk of severe complications, graded over 3 or 3 on the clavian dindo classification system compared to partial nephrectomy. There, were no, there was no evidence that technique or gender significantly impacted 
on severe complication rate. Surgical procedure remained a significant predictor for severe complications with the effect widening after adjustment for age. Age was just significant with increasing age associated with 3% elevated odds of severe complication per year. Analysis for other relevant variables was not statistically, statistically meaningful due to the overall small number of severe complications reported. Of all laparoscopic partial nephrectomies, about one-third were robot-assisted. A sub-analysis comparing robot-assisted and conventional laparoscopic partial nephrectomy did not show significant differences in examined parameters, which included operation time, blood loss, surgical margins, intraoperative and postoperative complications. In our cohort, only three deaths were reported in the radical nephrectomy group and one death was reported in the partial nephrectomy group in uh, 30 days after the operation. In conclusion, partial nephrectomy is the procedure of choice for T1A renal tumors whereas radical nephrectomy is favored for T1B tumors. Laparoscopic techniques are widely utilized for radical nephrectomy while robot-assisted techniques are being used increasingly for partial nephrectomy in the UK. Partial nephrectomy is associated with better preservation of renal function in the short run at the expense of increased but acceptable postoperative complication rate. The incidence of positive surgical margins in partial nephrectomy is however significant. Finally, dissemination of the Bowes nephrectomy body data can provide not only transparency but also the opportunity for surgeons to compare against their peers and improve their surgical technique and clinical care for future patients. Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree that this BAVS data analysis of T1 tumors has shown interesting findings. This data was from 2012 and in the following years we have got more and more usage of robot for partial nephrectomies. In this data there has been a significant complication rate which with years to come will fall. I take this opportunity to thank the BAVs and every urologist of the country who has contributed to the, to the database of BAVs. And now the same thing is being done for other major cancers. Thank you.